So you may have seen in the news recently that Jack Grealish, the footballer, has got himself a £25,000 Belgian Malinois as a protection dog for him and his family due to some incidents that they've recently been at his home. Now Jack has chosen an amazing dog here that is well suited to the job of personal protection, but I want to sound a word of caution because if we're not careful, then I think that the Belgian Malinois could end up being lumped in with the XL Bully and the Pit Bull and get added to the dangerous dogs list. People are going to see that he's got one of these dogs and think, oh, I should get one of these for protection myself. I can't get an XL Bully anymore, but if Jack's got a Belgian Malinois, that's the one that I want. But let me tell you why I don't think that's the best idea. Hidden in that 25 grand price will also be the course and training that Jack and his family will have been on to learn how to deal with that dog. That 25 grand does not just cover the cost of the dog because you can't just expect him to go to a pet shop, spend 25 grand on the right breed of dog, bring it home, and then everybody know exactly what they're meant to do. The dog behaving well, the dog doing what it's supposed to do, and Jack and his family being able to deal with it. Protection work for dogs requires super high levels of working with your dog and understanding the commands that they need and how to act yourself around them and how to lead those dogs. If you've got a protection dog that won't release when you tell it to, it's not a protection dog anymore, it's a weapon and that is the last thing that we want. So while it may be tempting to think that I should get one of those dogs too, I want to protect myself and my family, please, if a bloke down the pub offers you a Belgian Malinois puppy, please don't take it.